Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to uh, Age of Calamity. This is episode 50. Um, I I noticed that we are only 75% complete with the whole, the whole map. Which it seems awfully low if this really is the last mission. Uh, so I still don't really know what's going on there, but I guess I'll find out soon enough. Um, I did gather up the durians for this mission, so I figured we might as well do that real quick. Uh, the winners of the Sand Seal race will have the special honor of a private meeting with Riju. The young chief wants to bring some fruit as a small gift for the victorious Vi and her Sand Seal. Alright. You learn much from listening to the Vi talk about her experiences. In return for the gift, she, she agreed to join Riju in Patricia's future training sessions. Well, that was kind of her. Uh, okay, and um, I suppose we should get started on these uh, actual, like, oh, nuts. Okay, uh, let me, here, okay. Uh, I got you Nobu up to level 60, so hopefully that'll help a little bit. And hopefully it's not going to force me to play as Daruk, because if it is, I am screwed. <laughs> Might be screwed anyway because I don't. I mean, Daruk or uh, Yunobo is not really my best character. Okay, there's Silver Moblin. I saw the the big giant enemy symbol and I was afraid that I was up against like three Lynels or something like that. But nope, they're Silver Silver Mob or oh, that that is a, that is a Lynel. Cool. Okay. Uh. Let me try and remember how to <laughs> how to play as Inobo. <laughs> oh, it does not help that my screen is freaking out right now. I don't I don't really know what's causing that. My only suspicion is like maybe um like maybe my HDMI cable is mm, funky, but I tried like you know making sure it was all secure and stuff like that. Um oh my goodness, what was that? I don't know, but it was effective. Um, yeah, I don't know, my HDMI cable seems to be secure, so I guess maybe the cable itself is just bad? But even then, it's like, it doesn't seem to be a persistent issue, so I don't, I don't really know what the issue is. Alright, uh, this is going alright. Yeah, let's, uh... Whoop. Monsters made it inside the Allied Stronghold. Uh, that's not good. Uh, come on. No, stop it! Stop bouncing! Ouch. Come on. Oh, I get it. That's his five combo. Okay. Oh, come on, get it. Okay, good. That was good. And then we'll do that. And hopefully... Get... Okay. No, stop it. I really don't like that bouncing thing. It seems to do practically no damage. Okay, cool. That's one. Fire was driven their allies have begun an assault. Well, nuts. Um. Okay, I guess it'll tell me if the uh, if the stronghold is close to falling. Oh, good, another Lionel. Uh, all right, that went well. What? I did the thing. Oh well, whatever. I got it. I got the attack. Does that itself bring up the weak point gauge? Because he was in the middle of an attack. He should not have had his, his gauge exposed there. Not going to like this. 
Oh well. Definitely not gonna complain about it. Oh, come on. Yeah, that seemed to bring up his weak point gauge. Oh crap! Ugh, dang it. Ah! I wish I. I really wish I knew what was going on with my TP, because this is really obnoxious. I, yeah, it really seems like. That big cannon attack is what brought up the weak point gauge. If that's the case, then great. That's actually really potent. And that's definitely an advantage to consider for Yunobo. Oops. Oh my god, okay. That's a problem. Um, is that going to hit? No, dang it. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's that combo is actually bringing up the weak point gauge. If so, that's insane. Like, that's really good. The ability to bring up a, a big enemy's weak point gauge at will is really powerful. Okay, so that's the Lionel done. Uh, is you know close to leveling up? No. <laughs> I could really use that health boost right about now. You know what? I'm going to pause real quick and see if I can figure out what's going on with my TV. I will be right back. Okay, uh, messed with that a little bit. Hopefully that'll be better, maybe? We'll have to see. <sighs> oh, an electric lionel. Good. Oh, and he almost killed me. Good. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, okay. Is that going to help? No. Wow, that really does seem to be bringing up the weak point gauge. I'm just in shock. Like, the, the ability to do that is really good. <laughs> oh, come on, please. No. Okay. There we go. Like, it, it's not... It doesn't expose itself for as long as other methods of exposing the gauge, but even still, like, the fact that you can do that and just get, like, little chips of damage on the weak point gauge whenever you want is pretty good. Owie. Oh, an electric mob one has come to join him, too. Great. Okay, come on. Did that... what happened? I don't know. Ouch! Thought I... thought I got out of the way of that. I... honestly, I thought I got the... Uh, the flurry rush off, but apparently not. even bother with that. It's it just says so little damage. Come back. Oh god, okay. Monsters made it inside the Alex Stronghold. Just Daruk, please. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. No, that's not the one I wanted. It's on the verge of falling. Well so is this Lionel. Is 
this an outpost? I guess it is. Did I already kill the um the mob one? I didn't notice if I did, but I'll take it. Okay, cool. That should do it, hopefully. Awesome. Best defense is a good offense. Toujours l'attaque. Alright, well, admittedly that could have gone better, but uh, we did it. You know, though, and Daru got some levels, so that's good. Daru cannot carry any more weapons. Nuts. Um, does he have... Yeah, I saw he had a thing. There we go. That'll do. Okay. Yeah, I might do some weapon merging for Daru just to get some of those weapons out. Uh, out of the pool. Okay. Um, Rito Discipline. And then what's this last one up here? Hunting for Gemstones. Uh, I am not going to place Daruk, actually. Thank you. Uh, well, it'll let me play as Teva, so that's good. Alright. Be in your guard. Woo! Okay, cool, I'll take it. Yeah, uh, as far as I'm concerned, Teba is Rivali, but better. You know, he, he's still got a quite a lot of snark on him, but he doesn't he doesn't preen himself as much as uh, Rivali does. It's more like, you know, he's grumpy and, uh, you know, proud, but He's not, like, insufferable and arrogant. <laughs> Defeat the Silver Moblins. Okay. Is there another Silver Moblin on the other side? I guess there'd have to be. There he is. Ow! Oh, cool. I'll take it. Oh, okay, cool. A little afraid I'd miss there. Come on, get him. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, come on. That should kill him, though. Guardians have appeared. Yeah, I did see that. Keep us on our toes, hmm? This would be a good test. Okay. I don't think that was the combo that I did, but okay, game. Is one of them... One of them should be a Skywatcher, I'm pretty sure. That one should go down pretty easy. Did that do damage? I actually couldn't tell. I was I was looking at something else. Even if I don't think it did, because I did take some damage from the moblins. Uh, but it doesn't look like ow, I took too much damage in any case, so I'm not too too worried about it. Okay, and then we'll do that. Yeah, I am getting a little bit better at, uh... Oh, come on! Are you serious? Lame. I'm getting a little bit better at using my stasis to, uh... Extend the weak point gauge. How about this? How about get out of my face? And also die. Cool, that killed it. There should be something over there, I think. Okay, yeah, that's another Skywatcher. That'll kill it, I think. Yeah, cool. 
defeat the guardian and keep okay, so I guess more guardians. Okay. Gather up some special attack energy before they make their way to the base. Or I guess more specifically the captain. Oh, it's an electric guardian, great. And a fire guardian. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but that'll help anyway. Okay. Will that get both of them, I wonder? It did. Awesome. Okay. Get a bunch of damage on this guy. What just happened? I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I really like this big barrage combo. It's just super powerful. That should kill it. I think. Yeah, cool. You underestimated the power of the Rito. A fatal mistake. Awesome. We did it! Uh, got bunches of rupees, that's good. Rivali gained a billion levels, that's also good. Uh, got some fusion fodder, not really any skills that I care to keep. Alright. Okay, good stuff, and then... Assuming this one doesn't spawn any more side missions, I think this might be the last one. Um, and not only do I want to play as Mifa, but she also has her super good farming white scale trident, which um, it's at level 25, and it unlocked that. You can see that, I believe that special attack charge rate up. In fact, I think it'll show us, right? Yeah. So an extra special attack charge rate. Um... I thought about removing that and putting, I had, what did I have? Yeah, there it is. Uh, extra sensor registered material drop rate, because that sounded pretty good. But 10% special attack charge rate is also pretty good, especially on Mifa, where she gets healed for that as well, for her special attacks. So... I don't know. I figured I'd just leave that on for the time being, at least. Cannot use items in this battle. What do you mean by item? Oh, uh, it means uh, elemental rods and... Oh, crap. Uh, elemental rods and healing items. So I can still use uh, my runes, which is good. Hey! That was good. Okay, cool. Oh my god. Get it? Get it? Okay. That's helpful. Weak point smush. Okay. Oh, you alright there, buddy? Okay, good. Nope. That's unfortunate. Is that one a Frost Talus? I thought that was a Frost Talus move that it just did, but I guess not. Maybe it just looked like a Frost Talus move, but it was just the stony variant of it. Now this Igneo Talus has appeared. Oh my god, that is a lot of modifiers. I do not like the sound of that. Um, okay. Well, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Oh, wait! That helped, though. I just hope that I can get it! Oh, come on! Maybe I can do that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then... 
Okay, how am I gonna do this? Um... Hey, that worked. I'll take it. Please don't swipe me off, Malice Talus. Will that kill the Stone Talus? I don't know if it'll kill it outright, but yeah, no. Was the Malice one stunned there for a minute and I didn't notice it? Oh crap! I did not see that until it was already too late. Okay... No. I, I think I mentioned it in a previous episode where, like, some characters, particularly Yunobo and Link, are the ones that immediately come to mind. Uh, they have, like, the way that they use their bombs are really good for Taluses because they can, like, Yunobo shoots his in a straight line. Uh, so it's really easy to, like, get on the sides of the Talus and hit both of the arms at once. And then Link has a crosshair where he throws a couple of bombs, so it's easy to hit one and then hit the other. But Mifa's is really hard to use for that, unfortunately. But that's okay, we beat it anyway, because she just has insane damage output at this point. Hunting for gemstones. And, uh, the fact that I couldn't use the items didn't really play much into it because I'm really bad at using items anyway, so it all worked out. Yay! Uh, got some stuff, and hey, look at that, some more stuff, and also some stuff. Oh my god. Okay, that was a little unexpected. Um, I think those will be good for for the next episode though we've done plenty on this episode um and i guess i should have figured that we've done one for one for the gorons one for the rito i guess it makes sense that there's one for the zora did we already do the one for the gerudo i f i feel like there there was one where i i played as riju and Urbosa, but i might be making that up uh, if we haven't already, then it should come up soon. But in any case, um, let's take a look at these real quick and see Footsteps of the Giant. So that's, yeah, some Hinoxes. No carried items. Oh, that's probably the same thing that we just did. Um, Gerudo. Oh, there it is. Duh. Okay. Uh, well, that sucks because those are, well, I mean, I guess I'm good with Herbosa. Uh, so that's fine. Taming the Savage Lionel. Uh, oh my god, that's a Malice Lionel. Okay. Well, uh, definitely not impossible. But, um, yeah, uh, I think we'll get started on those on the next episode. And then hopefully on the episode thereafter, we will head on over to the future of Hyrule. Ooh, oh, that was Central Hyrule. Okay. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll get cracking on all that on the next episode, and uh, thank you all for joining me on this episode.